What's up, everybody? Uh, this video here is how to combine credit games. Uh, it's not for any particular person, or it's just for how I built these custom parts for credit games and how it all goes together. This is for anybody who gets one made. Um, it will work for either the Neural Rex or the Ferro Rex, the standard Ferro Rex, but uh, here you go. Um, the only difference is with the new with the new foot parts because he's taller. I put in new plates here, so it rests against this, so it provides a little more stability. But that's pretty much it. The transformation is exactly the same uh, for the figures. Uh, here is the new uh, torso and lower crotch plate with the new combiner plugs and ports. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Now. Um, here is Leo, Ducks, or Razor Claw. This is the way he needs to be for uh, the new combine mode. You just flip this up out of the way. Here's the new combiner ports and setup. It does not come off. And what you do is um, you take the new torso and lower crotch area and just plug it in. Press firmly. Firm as you can get it, just take your fingers and push it as far as it'll go, and that's pretty much it. And then you just put it back the way it was, remain and stuff like that. The cannons can stay there. I usually keep the combiner uh, ports uh, plugs up at this angle, it adds a little more intimidation to the credit game himself. Now, here at the base of the leg is the new combiner um, plugs. Now, these go in. The same way the others do, except when you pull these out, shimmy, shimmy the leg down and pull. Do not pull directly or you might break them. So, but to do them, you simply just do it the same way you do with the others. And it goes, each one goes in one at a time. Like so. Just like that. And here he is so far. Getting him to stay just right is the problem. He leans a little bit. Now, uh, the arms, I'm going to, I don't want him to fall, so he, he'll stay pretty much. Okay, this is the new transformation for the arms, um, for the new hand pieces. Now, the hand pieces are just friction fit, and they fit in here. Um, I'll show you how that works, but this is the way, because now he's substantially taller, the arm has to be longer. So what you do is um, you take the hand, the hand here with the new parts, and you just uh, part the leg a little bit. I can get it separate. Just a little bit. You don't need to completely open it. You just need to uh, slide it in with the groove facing out, and you just line it up. And then you close the piece around it. Okay. Now it's just friction fit. They can fall out sometimes, so just be mindful of that. So that's okay. That's one done. Just display the fingers how you wish. Put the arm down for the moment. I'll do the same thing to uh, dive bomb which is the same setup, part the legs a little bit, slide it in, and then just close it as tight as you can get it. Okay. Now, um, with these, you just plug them in the same way, just like this. Like so, <clears throat> same thing on the other side. Plug it in. Are sometimes tight. Okay, and then the wing pack goes on the standard way as it always does. He does lean a little bit, like I mentioned. And then plug that in to the ports in the back, like standard. And get it slide in because I can't see. And then I just display the wings back a little bit, just a little bit. Let me turn them around and take a look. Back and uh, that's pretty much it for predicting mode. Now, like I said, he leans a little bit. Um, 
down because he's so back heavy. But uh, if he's displayed properly, he will look good in um, pretty much any shelf he stands at. Just over 19 inches tall. Uh, but he does look good. Um, the uh, I'm still working on refining and adding new things to make these better. So whoever has got a predicate for me, um, if I... Uh, if everything works out the way I want it to, I will offer these upgrades at very little to no charge, uh, just for a little bit of time invested and stuff like that, maybe a little bit for materials, but not too astronomical. Um, I'm going to slide him out of the way so I can get in some of the picture. But uh, here he is. Um, what I might do inside the uh, head piece here, because the head sinks down, it's with the gym bows, they do that. I might put a piece of uh, thin styrene in there to act as a shim, so when it hits a certain point, the head will stop, so it doesn't sink down in the chest all the time. I might do that. Um, this Beretta King is for my friend Lloyd. Um, he's been waiting patiently for it. Uh, but it is pretty much done. i got a couple minor details to do on the legs, but other than that, he's pretty much complete. Um, but thank you all for watching, and uh, whoever gets a Beretta King, I hope you enjoy it.